Welcome back, everybody. Creating a beautiful and a better place to live, work, and play. That's the vision of our next guests, who are with the Fifth Ward Community Redevelopment Corporation, or what's commonly referred to as FWCRC. And their organization's goal is to improve the quality of life in Houston's Fifth Ward. Here to tell us how they do that from the Fifth Ward CRC, President and CEO Kathy Payton, along with past chairman and board member, the Reverend Harvey Clemens. Good morning to you both, and thank you for being here. Good morning, Good morning Jose. First off, exactly what is the Fifth Ward CRC, and how did it get started? 22 years ago, Fifth Ward CRC was founded by Reverend Harvey Clemens and a couple other board members who were sick and tired of the disparity that our community was experiencing uh, in terms of the overall decline in the quality of housing, the quality of life that it was offering for its community residents. So they sat around a boardroom, got together with the community, and talked about what the real needs of the community are. Uh, over and over, the one uh, theme that was more prevalent than others was the need for decent, safe, and affordable housing. And as we grow and continue to redevelop the community we focus on housing but we've expanded that vision to include commercial and retail development as well as beautification projects and development of programming and projects that help sustain and improve the quality of life for people in the fifth ward in a sense you're trying to get m more credibility may not be the right word but I think you understand what I'm saying more credibility for the fifth ward but the fifth ward is known worldwide you know, when people think in terms of, of Houston and the African-American community, they think in terms of Third Ward and Fifth Ward because you've got so many folks who have been prominent in the community who well, come from that community. Right, Reverend? Well, that is absolutely right. And certainly uh, the Fifth Ward has a rich legacy and a rich history. However, it does have a darker side. And so one of the things that we wanted to do is uh, make sure that the image of poverty is not the image that's being communicated. It, it is a community that is growing. It is a community that is vibrant. Our latest market uh, uh, study revealed that it is a younger community as opposed to an older community in terms of the population. And so it is a community with a rich history, as you have already uh, indicated. Why many years ago did you see a need to begin something like this? Well, across the country, uh, cities that have the same kind of demographic profiles as the city of Houston, such as Los Angeles, Chicago, suffered from a center city blight, where it seems as though people were moving to the suburbs, left the community to kind of fall in and collapse upon itself. We, in, we understood that, and we began 22 years ago of redeveloping a community with uh, the kind of legacy that Fifth Ward has. And so we've built over 300 uh, single-family homes. We have over 20,000 square feet of commercial space, a uh, number of uh, multifamily affordable housing units that exist. Our newest thing is that we'll be opening, along with Texas Southern University, uh, the Deluxe Theater, which was a theater that was uh, prevalent back in the 60s. And so it is a community that is not looking backwards, but a community that is looking forward. And that's one of the reasons why we're so excited about the Neighborhood Works Week that's coming up in June, is because it gives us an opportunity to deal with uh, the housing needs of some of our citizens who are handicapped, some of our senior citizens, and allows us to go in and do some rehab work on those homes. In fact, the, the idea is that we have a about 32 lots in Fifth Ward that we've identified and targeted and about 12 units that we're going to be working and repairing uh, throughout this this time. So we're looking for volunteers, we're looking for cash contributions, we're looking for material and wood. Uh, anyone who would like to participate in this Neighborhood Works Week, by the way, it's being duplicated all across uh, the United States with countries, I mean with uh, nonprofits that are affiliates of Neighborhood Works. There are other initiatives going on in addition to that. Give me an idea as to what's going on in the Fifth Ward. We have a lot going on. Uh, as Reverend Clemens talked about the Deluxe Theater, we have an ongoing housing development program where we actually build, construct custom homes for families who are looking to move into the Fifth Ward community. They're available. Down payment assistance is available to assist families in purchasing home. We're also working with uh, educational initiatives, and we are happy to announce that, yes, Preparatory Academy is moving into the Fifth Ward, and we're excited about that opportunity. We're also looking at ways in 
which we continue to restore the economic vitality of the community, to bring uh, retail and commercial development into our community so that the leakage will stop and help improve the overall economics of our community. So we're excited that things are taking place and we hope that people will come to look at our community as a young, vibrant community that is on the move. All right, now we're gonna let our viewers know how they can find out more about the Fifth Ward CRC. It's National Neighborhood Works Week, June 10th and 11th. Now, there's a phone number on your screen, 713-674-0175, or you can log on to fifthwardcdc.org. Thank you so very much for the information. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.